Hello everyone, my name is Erica Hargreave and I am the instructor for social media storytelling at BCIT. Each of you in the class is going to be um, building your own entity in the social media space. And so you might have already started on this or it might be something where you're starting completely afresh, either is fine. But you're essentially going to build a brand story out there, whether it is your own personal one because you're a musician or a journalist or a public speaker or an artist, somebody who, who, who want, needs to have a presence in the public space or it could be that you started a business and we're building your business out there or maybe you're, you've got a creative endeavor that you, you want to build up in the digital space like, like a novel or a, a documentary film. So whatever your story is, we're going to start to build that in that space and as we build that we're going to identify who your ideal community is because of course every single story needs a setting and community is a part of that setting and actually community in the digital space is very very important you never want to just be telling the all about me story you want to be building that community out there in your storytelling and as you start to build them up out there um, there, you know, that world has knack for starting to do the same with you and you'll essentially build what's called a story world out there and, and we'll, we'll sort of explore that idea of story worlds a little bit more as we get into the class. Uh, we're going to be building some storytelling campaigns out there and so, you know, just as an example, I'll, I'll tell you the story um, in the class of how one Canadian, two Americans, and one rubber duck here by the name of Lucy were able to change the story around Egypt uh, post-Arab Spring from one being of violence in Tahrir Square to one of the beautiful people that live there and the experiences that you can have. Lucy here is actually an example too of why community is so important in the digital space as well as storytelling. Lucy was a part of a social experiment where in the, from the UK where they sent these rubber ducks all around the world and each rubber duck, it's worn off on her now, had a barcode on the back and if you found the rubber duck and you put the barcode into the computer there was a storytelling platform to tell the duck stories and their experiences on. The only problem was that the people who established the site forgot to do any storytelling themselves and they forgot to build the community up around um, the different uh, people that found the ducks and the ducks themselves out there. And as a result, um, this poor duck um, <laughs> and the many others lost their homes and so she now has a home with us as our UK correspondent um, which adds you know a little bit of silliness to some of our stories which is great because as many of us like so many of us start taking our businesses and our world so seriously that we forget that the fact that adults need a little bit of silliness uh, in their worlds too and they need those little smiles and so Lucy helps provide that in some of our stories. Uh, we also have red, some red boots as devices that we use in our storytelling that help uh, connect our stories with other people's stories around the, around the globe. Uh, so we'll be exploring a little bit about um, those different devices in storytelling and, and working on campaigns and we'll create one as a class so that you guys can all have experience uh, in a storytelling campaign. We'll look at which platforms of media are the ones that seem to be resonating and working for your particular stories because there's so many and there's never growing number out there that we can't be on all of them and doing them all well all the time. So ultimately we need to make some um, decisions about which one's the best ones for our projects. And uh, we'll also look at how to keep ourselves sane and to keep it manageable in that uh, ever growing and ever noisy digital space out there so that uh, our whole worlds doesn't be don't become the digital space that that we get to enjoy real life and real moments and real places like this i'm just watching some snow geese off in the distance here as i'm uh, as i'm chatting with you on the video and uh, i know certainly for myself these moments um, in real life are what make my stories richer and speaking of real life, I am now sitting in the rain. So I am going to turn off the camera and I'm going to say goodbye. And I look forward in the coming weeks to learn more about your stories. Bye for now.